Good day and welcome back to Market Ka Gyan. I am Naren Solanki. Today's topic we would discuss and a very important sector and this sector is one of the big sector which is contributing and bringing in money as well as name for our country. And this sector is pharmaceutical sector. Yes. India pharma sector is third largest in the world in terms of volume production volumes and 14th in terms of production value india contributes almost 50% of global supply of vaccines and is one of the largest supplier of generic drugs to developed markets like us and uk so investors in this video we will discuss about the bird eyes view of pharma sector and how to basically grasp and understand the pharma sector we will start up with few basic concepts and slowly and gradually would drill down into more details in other part of the video but before we start don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon button to get such important information on various topics related to markets so let us start what are the basics first of all from product point of view a pharmaceutical company or a pharmaceutical sector has products categorized into basically two therapies one is acute and other is chronic so acute therapy is therapy in which interventions are required for a very short period of time and during that short period of time the disease gets cured while chronic therapy is where the interventions are required over a longer period of time and the disease also prolongs for a longer period for a basic and simplistic understanding we can assume that any intervention in any disease which is required for less than 3 months can be considered as acute therapy whereas any intervention which is required for any disease which lasts for more than 3 months can be considered chronic so basically all the elements and all the diseases are basically classified into these two therapies in the pharma business within these therapies there are various subgroups which are created and within these major subgroups there are many subgroups which are also there we will talk here about 9 to 10 large groups of therapies from both acute and chronic therapies and in indian context these therapies are worth 10000 crore or more market on an annual basis these therapies are pain anti infectives cardiac dermal dermatologist cns which is a neurological disorder gastro vitamins and others within these if you see pain anti infectives are acute therapies while gastro cardiac cns neuro are considered as chronic therapies these or top 9 therapies constitute almost majority of the indian pharma market if you talk about indian pharma market the latest data suggests that indian pharma market is almost around 2 lakh crore market and it's around 1 lakh 80000 or 85000 something and it would be become a 2 lakh crore in two quarters so this is how you segregate the broader market into therapies and subgroups so that's it uh, for today's video pharmaceutical sector is a complex sector so we will just start with small small additions to our knowledge and wait for our next video for next part thank you investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing